um, I think that we can sum up that there's three things that we want from scaling up. We all want to see impact, we all want sustainability, but we also want to have learning. And to have impact, we have to take a value chain approach, we have to balance fidelity versus adaptability. To have sustainability, we have to win over farmers or whoever it is that's adopting the technology. It's not just a matter of getting the technology out there as if it were a can of Coca-Cola. It's actually winning hearts and minds. People have to have a desire for the technology. And they also have to have an understanding of it. And then finally, there has to be a research aspect because as we saw from the uh, CESA project and from the work of World Fish, there's adaptation that goes along with this. Not just adaptation of the technology itself. We talk about off-the-shelf technology, but it's a bit of a myth. The technology has to change as you move it out, but also the approach that you use has to change. So we take an adaptive management approach. And finally, that last part, learning, it's not just M and E looking at what we did was a good checking off boxes. As we saw from the M and E session, it's much more than that. It's much more in depth than that. But it's also this marriage of research to development. So that the research is not something that happens at the beginning, <coughs> then you take the technology off the shelf and away you go. The research is happening throughout, from beginning to end, and in retrospect. And finally, the real thing that will tell us whether or not we have won in terms of sustainability is and we let go of it, and it continues on by itself. I think the uh, classic example, in my mind, is IR8. This was the very first rice variety that the International Rice Research Institute released. USAID had a program to get this into Pakistan back in 1967. Today, IR8 is still the number one exported rice of Pakistan. And there are plant breeders who say, oh no, they're using this old variety. We wish they would use something better. But in reality, I think we can look at it as a great success. If we put something there which is still in use today, 50 years later, that's a success. So in conclusion, we have to be willing to let go. And right now, I'll let go of this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> to learn more about scaling and how you can contribute to this growing body of knowledge, please visit agrilinks.org slash scaling.